Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. As always, I'm so happy to have you with me. So glad that you are studying the Word of God. Uh, the Bible itself tells us that the, uh, God's Word is a lamp unto our feet. It's a light into our path. And when we study it and hide it in our heart, we will not sin against God. And so it's good for us to be in God's Word. And I'm just grateful that you're with me today. We always go to the Lord in prayer as we begin our study. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks and praise for the way that you, uh, you not only made us, give us life, you sustain our life, but you also give us your word and the ability to understand it. And we're just blown away today by you. And uh, Lord, we just want to bless you and give you thanks and tell you how much we appreciate that you've invested into us in such a great way. I pray for every person listening to this uh, podcast today that you will bless them in their study and their relationship with you as well. And Lord, we ask you by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and empower us to live according to that truth. And Lord, that our lives will be a blessing to you. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Chief Priest Wanting Lazarus Dead. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 12, and verse 10. The Apostle John wrote how Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. There they made him a supper, and Martha served. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then said one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him, Why was not this ointment sold for three hundred pence and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bare what was put therein. Then said Jesus, let her alone. Against the day of my burying has she kept this. For the poor always you have with you, but me you have not always. Much people of the <clears throat> Jews therefore knew that he was there. And they came not for Jesus' sake only, but that they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. And in chapter 12 and verse 10 of his book, John shared how the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death. Where we read, but the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death. The verse reads, but the chief priest consulted. John began with the words, but the chief priest, which means, however, nonetheless, notwithstanding and moreover, the high priest consulted or deliberated and took counsel together for the following purpose. John shared how the high priest deliberated to discuss the following action. The verse continues that they might put Lazarus also to death. John added the words that they might put, which means so the high priest could kill, destroy, extinguish, and abolish Lazarus also to death or Lazarus, whose name means whom God helps, to destruction, depra deprivation of spiritual life and mortal slaying. John shared how the high priest consulted even so and indeed that they could kill and destroy Lazarus. When we think through John's words in this verse, we learn how the religious leaders known as the chief priest desired to kill Lazarus and Jesus. The testimony of Lazarus was that Jesus raised him from the dead, and this continued the adulation of Jesus for his mighty miracles. God sent his son Jesus to the earth with powerful abilities which would identify him as the Messiah, and anyone who understands and believes who Jesus is will be forgiven of their sins and have everlasting life with God. God loves everyone. And though others may want them dead because of their life-changing testimony of an encounter with Jesus, their witness will not be in vain, and they will live throughout all eternity. Next time, John shares, because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. 
And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.